All right, step one. Tree fluid extractor. How do we hover over an ingredient and press A? A. All right, so we need that and a latex processing unit. And then we need the lasers. And this is cool. We need you and you. And then we'll probably do actually additions. Bio, no. Industrial foregoing. Is this the one that makes it? When provided with power and biomaterials, it will produce biofuel. All right. And then this is the thing. That uses biofuel. It uses 160. Ooh, it produces a decent amount. 28 generators can run from one bioreactor. Wow. Awesome. Okay. We might do that route, but this is the step we've got right now. <laughs> this is the steps we have right now. Let's do this first. We need stone, redstone, a furnace, and an iron gear. Okay, we need to smelt some stone. We need the redstone. We need iron. Uh, we need a furnace. Is there a better crafting table? Probably not until we get into refined storage, which we will. And there's a crafting storage. There's a crafting table pet. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to wait till we get into. Ooh, and there's reborn storage. So there's going to be more things to learn. I don't know what the reborn storage is. If it's uh, way back in the day when you made the th huge multi-block storage things, maybe. Hmm. before I got interested in it. Let's do that. All right, so we need sticks, sticks, sticks. All right, tree fluid extractor. You. And then that. And now we should be ready for this. Yep. The tree fluid extractor can go. See, this is where we're gonna have. Can we face it up? Hmm. Oh, no. I see what it does there. In order to face it the other way, um, I don't have a wrench. Do I have an Omni tool? Hang on. I do. Woohoo! And then we have that, so we can put wood in front of it. Logs. And it will slowly use up the log and make fluid latex, liquid latex, okay? So that's what it's going to do. And you can automate this. The, the mod itself has block placers, so you'll be able to pla you could place the wood and automate that process. So now we've made this. So how do we remove you? All right, same way you add. Okay. So this is the next thing we need to do. We need to make a latex processing unit. Two more furnaces, some more iron, and a machine casing. More iron. Do we have the iron? 
yeah, we just need to get it smelting. I know, I know, there are doubling methods, but the only next doubling method that we have, I'd have to get further into industrial for going, I think, and do the pulverizer and whatnot. I'm kind of hesitant to do Ender.io. It doesn't thrill me. So, yeah. All right, so we need you. And we need two more furnaces. And... We need another iron gear. Okay. And this. And then what do we need? Do we have everything? Yes. So this is going to need power as well. So we'll put you right there for now. And you're getting power. It needs water and the latex. So we're going to need to use a bucket and just bucket things in for now. Um, what do we have? Do we have anything that's like produces water? Oh, we have tiny progressions. So we should have... Maybe not. I was thinking about the infinite water. Um, suppose we have... This one's going to be a really difficult to make. There's an infinite water bucket. Yeah, I don't have an ender eye, but that's really cool. And steel. I don't have steel. Good to know that it's coming up. We have the water source stone, but we don't have any of that. The water condenserator. Is this what I think it is? Yep. This is like an aqueous accumulator from thermal expansion. Well, is it? It's. I'm waiting for plastic yet. So once I have some plastic, I could do some more. And it'll be for automating that purpose. So for now, bucket it is. <laughs> um, so let's do that. Ooh. And even there, we're going to need a decent amount. So the rabbit hole says, do we automate the latex process before we make the, uh, the farm so that we don't have to keep doing this? water buckets. What I should do is, yeah, who knows. Everyone plays differently, right? So do we have enough latex? We have almost a bucket. Almost. All right, let's put some of this stuff away. Drink some coffee. If I were to automate the latex processing, it would make my life easier getting into the industrial foregoing stuff for sure. And I have a feeling that's the direction I'm going to be going for some things. All right, do we have... Oop. We have a bucket of latex. Put it in there. We should get some tiny rubber and the uses of the tiny rubber. We need nine to make dry rubber to then make plastic. So we're gonna need a decent amount of this stuff. <laughs> yep. Um, energy lasers. 
The energy lasers require a decent amount of redstone, which we probably don't have a whole lot of. We might have to go mining. We already have two Restonia crystals that I've collected. I need... to do that. Let's grab this. We'll put another log. Oops. In front of you. All right. Extra Utilities 2 Wireless Power. Oh, you know what? I forgot about Extra Utilities 2 Wireless Power. Is that easy to get to? Because mm, we need to start probably with the Resonator. And it uses G... G -G -G GP... That was something I didn't... I got sidetracked with. Um, we don't have any chunk loading right now. Because something was causing a memory leak before. So we don't have any chunk loaders currently. So having an angel ring is only useful if we're in range of the GP <laughs> generators. Uh huh. Yeah. So that's why we need to figure out a different method for. Probably figure out a different method for flight. Seriously, that's the. That can't be the recipe. Oh gee, that's the recipe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Still tempted to just use lasers, but um because they transmit more energy. Um, lasers. Energy lasers. A thousand for the low tier ones. Versus 80 RF for the wireless transfer from Extra Utilities 2. So we might continue, just continue where we were headed with the lasers. All right, we need to make the advanced coil, so that needs some gold nuggets. And then what do we need? We need just need the obsidian. Woohoo! Um, can we turn this into blocks? Ah, we're short one though. <laughs> okay, let's drop this stuff off that we don't want to lose. Go get, um, some obsidian. We have a bucket, so let's go get some obsidian. In fact, wasn't there a, an above ground lava lake that we saw um, there. Is that the closest one? That is the one we saw. Can you imagine? We're going to fill this whole area up with a palace. That would be so cool. Yep, we'd have to go all the way over there and collect that lava. That's not a bad thing. Just trying to see if there's anything... Nope. Let's go there. Um... Lava. We'll use red. Save. And we'll go that way. What's the... 
We have um, Vein Miner, so it's not like it's going to take us forever. Once we uh, get one block, we'll get lots of blocks. Maybe the April Fool's thing has changed or the recipe removed its functionality. No idea. I'm pretty sure 99 blocks didn't remove the recipe. So it has something to do with the mod itself. That maybe the mod author changed the recipe and didn't change the link to reflect that. Here's where I blew up at the beginning when I saw an inventory pet and um, mined it from the top. Ooh, didn't mean to take that damage. Hey, Darkwing, nice to see you. I am doing much better than I was. <laughs> Today is much better than yesterday. So, yeah, yesterday was not pleasant. So, let's do you. And... Okay. Whee! 49 whole pieces all at once. Think we're gonna need more than that? Should I just collect all of this while I'm here? It's tempting. Yeah, yesterday's migraine was not... not... Um, a normal migraine for me. It was very sudden onset very sudden onset and it started with dizziness and nausea and spots in my vision which had me freaking out so I took meds right away and then within 20 minutes I was pretty much you could say I was crippled I just oh it was bad very bad so, there's another piece under there, isn't there? Yeah, um, my aura events are not as scary as Edward's. Um, the aura, the aura events I get usually are like people have a red glow around them. You know, items have a glow, usually red. But my husband, he, he goes almost blind. He gets great big patches of vision just missing. So, yeah. That would be scarier. Definitely not something I would ask. It lasted, once the headache actually started, I had the migraine for like five hours. I slept for most of that, so yeah. But tomorrow, last night was, you know, more of the just laying around because you felt like you had just been hit by a truck. So I laid around all last night and, um, I should see if I've got any more wool in there, if I'm going to be concerned. I have 23. Okay, good. Good, good. But yeah, then this morning I woke up, 
I was going to stream, but I wasn't feeling quite myself. I had that brain fog. And so I just decided I wasn't going to stream after all, and I was just going to take care of myself. But um, the uh, this server was down for several days while it was getting uh, worked on. It had some problems. Uh, some mods had to be changed and removed and updated and all that stuff. So it was major problems for the person working on the server and the pack. But... It came up today, and today I decided that once I felt better, I was going to do some streaming from it. So, here we are. <laughs> um, I know why I get mine. I have two reasons why I get mine. One is exposure to gluten. If I get exposed to gluten, I don't believe that was the case with yesterday's um, because I ate the same stuff I eat all the other rest of the time when I'm home. And the other is period related. So that's probably what it was. <laughs> Yay. All right, so we have obsidian, and now I forgot what we were doing. No, I'm kidding. I know what we're doing. But I do not remember everything I needed. Oop, that's not what I wanted. Lasers. Four lasers! Now we don't have to, like, stack things up here. <laughs> that was the whole purpose of that. The nether looks different now, which we've never been to the nether, you and I, um, but the we had to remove the mod Better Nether because it was causing some difficult issues with the mini moos, and then we had to remove the mini moos for another reason, so the, the fun ore generation that's in this pack now is ore sheep. So we've got, we've got ore sheep that we can use for resource gen, um, sounds like fun to me. I have a bunch of sheep. Um, mm -hmm. So since we didn't need have mini moves, we didn't need foundry, so we removed foundry. Since we won't have any liquid metals to deal with. So yeah, lots of changes. All right. Is there a bucket yet? There, there's fluid lasers. Oh yay! Again, we won't have to mess with trying to get to Endrio conduits. I think that's the only way of moving things around is Endrio conduits or these lasers or the wireless stuff from extra utilities. So I'm, I know that industrial foregoing does not have its own wires or anything. I know that. So we have. Item relays. What do the fluid la lasers require? Oh, hey! Fantastic. Okay, so let's figure this out. Let's put this latex processing stuff upstairs. Um, yep. We're just gonna break you and we have, no, we're just break you and uh, you need water. Let's get some water in there. I don't want to lose enough of this stuff. Don't want to lose. Yeah, I need lots more water. Definitely should make the condenserator or whatever the cumulus <laughs> relax re the, the, the accumulator. For this particular mod is. Am I gonna be able to put that up on the second floor without doing too much to change the way my thing looks? Let's see. Oh, it needs so much more water. Goodness. Fluid transfer node. I don't think that- does that still work? I don't think it still works. I think you need- one, I think you need an upgrade I can't afford. 
Because there's those. Um, I think you need extra. Um, this one, you need the uh, mining upgrade. Well, that's, we need a resonator. That's cheap. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's an idea too. <laughs> How much water is this gonna need? Oh boy, I need to put like 10 more buckets in here. There's an X-Tones. Is that an actual tank or does it just look like a tank? I'm gonna guess it looks like a tank. There are open box tanks! Oh, well. That's the coal, not the obsidian. Too many. All right. really big aren't they I have no clue but I put like what 16 buckets in each one hey they they're pretty big just keep going until it uses up all the latex that's in here. Is that it? Okay. All right. I know, isn't that terrible? <laughs> I'm with you on that. Um. Is this block above another one? Uh, so, just trying to figure out where to put the water generation. I know I have these columns, but I don't think I'll be able to do anything there. Oh, that's window. What's this way? I have that spot and that spot, but I don't think I have this spot. Yeah. I lost it. Okay. So we have two spots here. Well, we could... I'm just thinking of making the water... 
There's a black hole tank. The water thing. If we did the condenserator, two or more sides, so we would only need to have the two. Of course, the more sides, the yeah, so that works just like the aqueous accumulator. That if we put the water in the corner here, that might be our best option there. Just trying to decide if I want to do the extra utilities, I could put the fluid transfer node. Lasers go through walls, yep. So if we put the water thing here, um, actually, if we put the water thing there, we could put the um, laser on top. So the water condenserator and then water source and water source, right? And then, <clears throat> Uh, latex processing unit here. So like a basement. <laughs> You're right! I totally could. What am I thinking of doing it up here when I could just... Popa, you're so smart. Why don't you play? <laughs> Are you my subscriber? Have I told you guys this stream that this will be open for subscribers? You were. You were. You're not now. That's okay. Um. Twitch Prime. Yeah. We put you here. And we used the little rotator doodad. Can we point it down? Um, back, left, front, right, back, left, front. Oh, so it can only rotate on this axis. I can't get it to point down. Well, that's good to know. Um... And we'll put a block placer in there, I think. Because we'll be able to do that with a hopper or some other kind of whatever you call it. Storage solution for the wood in that corner. Might as well. All right. Tree flu extractor, does it? It needs power, yes. Power, power. And we need to make an energy wrench. Do, 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 do. Power. We need to make more relays. Does this have a wrench on it? We can find out. Oh, it does! Energy flow both directions. That's fine with me. So you should have power, right? Yes. You do too. So we've got that. Um, we need to make another set of lasers so that we can do a basement water system. Um, this thing. We need the plastic for that. How much do we need? We need 18 little pieces. Oh good, we can do it.
think this is a smart choice for us to do the plastic and to get the water to automate more plastic. Miss Tesserax. I could see that. So to do this again, we're going to need more redstone and black quartz and the gold to do the advanced. Um, yeah. So we need, um, do we have some of those already? No, unless I put them in the wrong spot. All right, so let's just do all eight of those. Okay. Laser. You. 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 And then we need to do Two of you become fluid ones. So we've got that. Woo! The server came back up about four hours ago, five hours ago. Yep. Um, there's been some major mod changes, Silver Fox, and since you're a bit further along than I am, you may notice some things missing. But nice to see you! <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what you what you remember from the problems that we were having with the server. Do I have more ladders? Nope. <laughs> Throws a temper tantrum. Mini moves are gone, which means foundry is gone. Better nether is gone. Instead of mini moos, there are now ore sheep. Um, we had brought up possibly using resource hogs, like what uh, Sky Factory 4 uses, but it was really hard to configure. Yes, it did, Sapopa. I closed it. It just wasn't being useful. I got rid of it. So. Alright, we need to make... Um, Condenserator. Let's bookmark it. Plastic, machine casing, iron gear, pistons, water bucket. Here's our first bits of plastic. So we need to make some pistons. We need the iron and redstone. Almost out of redstone, guys. I'm gonna have to go mining here sooner or later. Make two of these. Um, there's no weirding gadgets anymore, Silver Fox. He had to pull um, chunk loading temporarily until he figures out what was causing a huge memory leak. So there is no chunk loading at the moment. That will get, we'll figure something out for chunk loading, but right now there isn't any. Iron gear, stone gear, I need sticks. One, two. One, two. Oh, oh, block of redstone. Hi, Nisi. Nice to see you. Machine gazing. Are we done except for the bucket of water? Yay! Which we won't need to go because we'll just use this. Water condenserator. We're gonna take you. We're gonna make some ladders. Three is likely enough and we're going to go... Might as well just go down right here. I saw that one in Discord. <laughs> Darkwing. Saw it in Discord. 
Uh oh. I need more than this. <laughs> hmm. Going into the basement. And let's clear this area out. And we'll put it right here. Is that the edge? Yep. Okay. Condenserator here. And we'll use this granite in these spots. One there. I wonder if it works with one underneath of it. In any case, it's full. We're gonna put... Oh, I left the wrench. You. Let's go get the wrench. Waiting for server. Nope. The energy one said it was... What the heck? <laughs> Why did you flip the other way? What? Try again. Laser stored, finally! Okay. And it goes in you. Hmm. I wonder if it's too far. It said it was connected. out the top. You think I have to tell it extract only? And then this one, the water tank, is... it's okay for the left. Um, so I need to make a compass to do that. Adjacent blocks, only out of adjacent blocks, both directions. Only out of adjacent blocks. Only into adjacent blocks. Now it's got water! Um, I am gonna need to hook this one up, though. Um... And that means I need to make another fluid re relay. The question I have, is it going to work for more than one fluid? And there's a way to hide these lasers. I just don't remember what it is. I know he added a, a way to hide the lasers for this, but I don't remember. 
Um. So there's that for the next fluid. And we'll put it here. And this should be only out of adjacent blocks. Yay! Look at that! <laughs> I know this looks like a mess. We'll have to make it look nicer at some point. Maybe. You know me. I'm all over just making things work for, for a while. Now there was a... This. Do we have... We have a ladder so we just need to make the... Trap door, and we'll take this piece out. Put that in. Now that should work the same. Okay. Yay! Um. So that's set. It looks like we're going to need to go mining again soon. We've got five redstone. How far do you think we can get with five redstone? I'm going to bet not very. That's wood item. We'll put that in the chest. That's wood items. Um, we need to make the... Alright, so we've made you. We've made you. So those are the things we have left. I'm keeping the energy relays in there because we're going to need them. Alright. Um... Latex. The block placer. We have one from Actually Editions, and we have one from Industrial Foregoing. Looks like we have one from Open Blocks too. So let's see how how much they are to make. This one needs a piece of lapis and four redstone. This one needs one piece of redstone. This one needs a lot of plastic. We're not gonna make that one. Um, might go with the Open Blocks one. The auto placer, though, I think places. Mm -mm -mm. Right clicking with the redstone torch in hand, it will change between a mode where it gets deactivated by redstone and a mode where it responds to pulses. Okay, I think. Uh, I don't know if this one needs a redstone signal or not. This one, auto placer will not unless I configure it to pulse, to need a pulse. It'll just go. So we might make this one. Four more redstone. <laughs> oh, two. Two more redstone. And a black quartz. All right. Need to do some mining. And then we need to do this lapis. Oh, look, no, those are diamond. Lapis. All right, auto placer. Let's go up here, and I want to put it there. And if we put this in there, I believe, well, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, it just is deactivation. It's just going to place it whenever it's got nothing there, which it just did. So that is definitely what I want. And this is producing plenty of tiny rubber now. Oh, yay. Can I put that back in there? Yep, okay. So we can now make all the industrial foregoing machines we want. 
Um. Let's fix this. We're out, almost out of torches. So we'll done that. The energy lasers. We're gonna need that for the farm. Let's clear you. No, it doesn't. It just switches on its own. That's right. Okay, based on the mod that you're looking at. This actually, you really should put this and that in my toolbox. Woo! This is almost broken. Then we'll be able to switch into the Paxel. Get some more water. This Jacaranda, we won't need that. A little bit of wood. Should we go do some mining? Maybe we should actually make a mine shaft. Open up my sparkling water. Wow, it's really fizzy. Hmm. You know, something I do want to know. I want to know how you turn the lasers off. Where'd the book go? Did I put it in my... in here? There it is. Let's read. Um... Laser this. Not bad. Invisibility makes laser connection between the two lasers to realize that both have it installed appear completely invisible. By wearing engineer's goggles, you can make the hidden beams appear visible. Not bad. Void crystals is coal, and then an advanced gear. This one's going to require the last of our redstone if we do that. So we're going to hold off on that, but it is nice to know this exists. I think this was something that was requested numerous times. Um, there's also a, a range modifier. Laser relays are more than 15 blocks away. Ah. Good to know. 15 blocks is the range. What else is in here? You need crops. We need to read about that. I don't know why the recipe book is in here. <laughs> um, what's interesting is I know I've had this, I got this book before the mod was added. I wonder if he added it to the Akashic Tome. Give me just a second. There we go. You can ask about that. Let's see what he says. You love the lasers though, huh, Sapopa? I don't mind them, but if I get a whole bunch of them, and especially if I start using them in the palace, because I don't want to have to see things in the palace. I want the palace to be like the decorative build, but if I move into it, if, when we get it built, when I move into it and start using things, I don't want to see lasers in my palace. So let's measure this. This is where we're going to put the farm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we could make it nine. How much is it this way at this level? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, let's expand it a little. You've used them decoratively? Interesting. 
All right. Mo. We're going to want to try to get some of the actually additions worms. Or excavator not working? Uh I it was working for me. Let's go make sure before I Yep, that worked for me. We'll switch to our Paxel now. <laughs> doop, doop, doop. All right. So yeah, that's gonna be our little farm spot. Okay, so how do we get the worms? I know it's not breaking grass. Do we use a hoe on grass? Is that how we get the actual additions worms? Do I have a hoe? Let's do it away from some water so this turns back to grass. There's one, yep, woo. I want more than two. I don't want to put too close to water either because like I said I'd like this stuff to go back to being grass. There's another one. Well we got five before our hoe broke. So what I wonder is if we can use these in conjunction with the industrial foregoing seed pl planter and gatherer or if it's going to break them. That I don't know. So yeah, two, three, four, five. That'll be right there will be where the seed seed planter goes. Yeah, you can stack them. You can stack them if you um, um, I will lose these if I break put them down, but say you put it here. Okay, you can't put it anywhere within its immediate eight blocks around it. But you can put it here, which means these three blocks are affected by two worms. <laughs> and so on and so forth. We should get rid of this diamond pick. Yep. We don't need to be carrying you or using you. So I won't place these until we have the um, seed planter and plant gatherer made. We can set up our farm. Um, yeah, so that's going to be what we do next. And again, if you would like to play on this server, this will be the Patreon Twitch subscriber simpleton supporter server. So you will be able to play with your fellow simpletons and all of their friends on this server. All you have to be for me, if you want to support me, is be my Twitch subscriber, which is $4.99 a month. 
And as long as you continue to be my subscriber, you will get access to this server, a 1.14 vanilla server. And if you're over 16, you'll have access to Breakfast Crafts sponsored Feed the Beast Ultimate server. So if you're interested in any of those, all you have to do is be my Twitch subscriber. The FTB Ultimate server is only available to my subscribers, but if you want to be a patron or a subscriber to any of the other simpletons, that's cool too. You'll have access to a 1.14 vanilla world and this simpleton server starting in May. Coming up. So if you're interested, you know, hit those subscribe buttons or go off and find another simpleton that you'd rather support. That's cool too. Um, I'm going to call it here for today. This is, you know, was not a planned stream anyway. I was supposed to do it this morning. <laughs> but we got a lot done, which I'm surprised, but I, I need to rest now. <laughs> that that my, migraine sucked, so. Um, I will be back tomorrow morning for a morning grind. I have no clue which server I'll be on for that morning grind. I have to figure it out. But I will be back tomorrow morning. So take care, folks. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Bye!